Hi, yeah. Um, today we're Hello. doing a, a delicious uh, South Indian coconut fish curry. Uh, really easy to make. Um, super people pleaser. Uh, something that also we've had on the menu at the Chili Pickle historically many, many times. Um, it's yummy. Yeah. So we've got a couple of fish uh, today. I actually had it in the freezer. Um, got last week. And it's Hus and, uh, and Breen Phillip. But this, this, this fish curry, you can basically do it with any fish fillet. Uh, anything you've got. Stuff Shellfish? You've got, like prawns? Yeah, a pra prawns are brilliant mm. for it. Um, even mussels. Oh, um, yes. I think the, the key, the key what you do is you make sure the fish is cooked properly. So if prawns, for example, very short time, you make sure that you cook all the sauce first. Yeah. And then just flash fry the prawns at the end and cook them a very short period in the sauce. In the Roger that. Exactly. So we're going to start off, just going to prep the husk, cut it into about three inch pieces, score it both sides. Yep. And then we're going to marinate, you've got the, the bream fillet as well, just nice little pieces, um, a little bit of veg oil, turmeric, uh, and salt, and that's it. And then we're going to seal the fish off. Okay. Is that my job? Yes, please. Now, the reason we're um, sealing the fish off rather than putting it straight into the curry is, you know, we don't want to overcook the fish. Uh, the fish is quite uh, tender and, and it cooks very quickly. So the hus is going to cook a little bit longer. So we're going to cook the hus in before and then we're going to add the bream fillet at the end. Okay. So get that pan on. So this is a real South Indian dish. Yes, uh, and it's sort of famous, really. That uh, size? Specifically. We'll just cut this Kerala. piece into four. Yes, yeah, so cut these pieces all the way through. Okay. Can you show you one? Yeah. Yeah, and then just score a little bit more often. Oh, okay, my scores are too big. Got you. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's very famous in Kerala. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are slight variations to the recipe, uh, but, but lots of the ingredients here are very standard, and, and we're talking for it. So we've got the pan there. We're going to seal the fish off in a minute. We can start the actual gravy off on the base for the curry. Um, We've got a whole bunch of spices, mustard seeds, cinnamon stick, there's mace, star anise, uh, green cardamom pods, black peppercorns whole, cloves, curry leaf, fresh green chilies, ginger, garlic, onion, turmeric, chili powder, uh, lime juice. And yeah, we'll talk about that at the end. That's uh, with the tempering at the end. All right. So just gonna... So it's quite a fragrant dish, isn't it? With all of those, because they're quite strong flavors. No, the ginger and the star anise, cinnamon. Absolutely, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's full full spice there, but it's quite light. You know, it is not, fresh. it's not a blow your head off. No, no. So you've got the whole spices cooking in there. They come out nicely in the coconut gravy. Okay. Quite a hot heat for a sealing fish? Yeah, sure. You can whack that up. So you want to season the uh, fish first. Oh, sorry. So a little bit of veg oil there. Yeah. So do I just drizzle it on and then massage yeah, it all in? Absolutely there. Sprinkle of turmeric, ah. sprinkle of salt, and then just massage it all in. Okay. So we've got a nice sauteurs pan here. We're going to start off with the coconut oil. And like before, we say that we, we really uh, value the extra virgin coconut oil, same as if you were using olive oil. It's the first press, it tastes the most, and you get that real you know, with the, with the curry leaf and the, the coconut oil, that, almost that real Kerala smell mm. and fragrance. Oh, Beautiful. it feels the kitchen when you use coconut oil, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Is that enough turmeric or if I'm not done? It was like half a teaspoon, that's Yeah, that, that's, that's more than enough, yeah. Okay. So nicely mixed in with the salt. Okay. So you've got the coconut oil's hot, gonna get the mustard seeds in first, cracking, yeah, it's coconut oil in there. And then we're gonna put the rest of the whole spices in. Drizzle, enough? Yeah, that's fine. Because okay. you've got already oil on the fish fillet as well there. Yeah. And it's inside down first, right? So you get that spices crackling golden. Key not to burn the spices. Inside down. Just start, just be, we'll start with the hus, go with the hus first. Okay. And then do the bass afterwards. And then when you've got the spices nice and fragrant, you get the curry leaf and, and the green chilli. Oh, smells amazing already. So crackle that curry leaf, and then next stage, 
we've got garlic sticks and ginger sticks. So it's just like a fine, a fine julienne almost. So what, what you want is that lovely garlic and ginger texture and flavour, but not really big pieces, just little matchsticks. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, can I have one of the wooden sticks, please? Here you go. Is that enough on that side? Yeah, you just want a little, little bit of colour, both sides. Okay. You can have the heat fairly. Uh, we don't want too much colour because we don't want the, the gravy to be darkened because of the colour of the meat okay. or with the garlic, the ginger and the onion as well. No, we're just... That's oh, re smells. really fragrant, isn't it? Ridiculous. So next I'm going to get the fine sliced onion, you can use shallot, use white onion, I've got red onion, so I'm using red onion. So, so this is quite a quick dish to do as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It's all about the preparation. The preparation is there and then you can have it all done from start to finish in 15 minutes. Preparation. So shall I take this out now? Yeah, that's fine, I can go. Okay. So like I say, just softening, softening the onion now. And skin side down. Yeah. Oh, looking at me. So what, if you have your preference every time, what fish would you use for this? If you had access to everything? To be honest, I mean, this, this is a really nice mix. I mean, the husk is delicious because it's got that real sort of soft texture that you pull off the, the middle, almost yeah. like the spine. I love husk. Um, and then, and then, and then the bus. No, that's fine. As okay. long as you've got space between each fillet, okay. you can crank it up a little bit. Okay. So you get almost the skin just that little bit crispy. Then turn yep. it straight away after. Okay. Okay. So that's nice. Onions are soft now. So we're we'll adding the turmeric, and we've got a little bit of Kashmiri chili powder. Bring that in. And now I'm going to add the coconut milk. I've got about um, 500 ml, which is, I guess, two oh, tins. Take the, take. So you've used the, used the powdered coconut milk. Is that just because that's what you had? Would you rather yeah, use well, a not, tin? Yeah, I'm not going to tins, but it's just uh, uh, advertising. But, but it's yeah. actually a really good product. Is dried coconut milk powder and you, you dilute it either to create coconut milk or, or coconut cream. Um, it's it's re really good quality stuff. Mine, I'm burning the fish. Is that okay? No, that's fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And just flip it over now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So now with the coconut milk, we're going to crank the heat up a little bit, bring it to a boil, and then once, once it's boiling, we're going to turn it down a little bit. So it's just got a nice golden tone on the skin of the fish. Yeah, well, once you've turned it, just another 30 seconds and then you can get it straight out again. Okay. So now the, the coconut gravy has started to nicely thicken. Uh, like I said before, that those bubbles become thicker uh, and it sort of almost coats the back of the spoon. Mm. We're going to add the, uh, the hus first because the bigger pieces went raw in the middle. So that will go in there first. So then that adds more flavour to it as uh, well. Absolutely, all that lovely fish flavour will yeah, come through. Nice. Um, in a couple of minutes, and then at this stage as well, I'm just going to add the cherry tomatoes. Now you can all also add um, chopped fresh tomatoes if you have, that's fine as well. Gives a nicer freshness to the dish. So if you were veggie gonna... or, um, sorry, if you were vegan, because this is a vegan based sauce, isn't yeah. it? There's no dairy in this. So you could use some nice vegetables in there as well if you wanted to, couldn't you? I yeah, mean... I, absolutely. I mean, some courgettes or some... Uh, aubergine? You know, some squash, uh, aubergine. You know, potatoes would work really nicely. Mm. Um, so I'm just yeah, going to turn so that down a little bit. I might try that. Just add some fresh, fresh lime juice there as well. I could say you get the uh, also sourness if you've not got lemons. Lime, limes, uh, sorry, lemons work just as well. Or um, you know, in, in some uh, areas, and they use tamarind instead of um, 
instead of lemon. Good, lime, just to yeah. add that little bit of sharpness. Yeah, exactly, to give a sour note. To yeah. it. Sour. So, but you prefer lime to tamarind. Yeah, I mean, I quite like to have that sort of clean, so, clean colour to the gravy as right, well. Right, okay, so it'd make it's, it look a little bit more murky. Yeah, yeah, not this, but just a little bit darker. Yeah. So I love making poppadoms at home. We do roasted poppadoms at the restaurant. So just the poppadoms that you would get from Taj or anywhere like this. If you pop them under a hot grill, 30 seconds, and you've got really lovely roasted poppadoms. So um, that's one of my jobs to do when Al's cooking, because it's quite hard to mess that up, really. Chief poppadom. Chief poppadom maker. <laughs> Although I have set the fire alarm off a couple of times without realizing, because they, um, yeah. I mean, it's super quick. You have to be standing right beside them all the time. So we're there. Okay, so we're just going to pop in, pop in the other fillets. That's fillets. They're going to cook very quickly now. These ones are all broken. These buttons at the end of the pack. So we'll just get rid of that. Nice. Oh, it's a lovely colour. Such a fresh, summery looking dish, isn't it? Yeah, delicious. Mm. Moily's lovely. It's ready now. Fish fillets are just cooked. Cherry tomatoes have softened. Final touch now. We're just going to put a um, curry leaf, uh, tempering and with a hing. So a nice hot pan, coconut oil, and then crack all the curry leaf in there. And then just about a third of a teaspoon of hing, otherwise known as Asafoetida. So asafoetida is used as an alternative to garlic and Yeah, onion, absolutely. And it is the resin from a, a large bulbous uh, plant, similar to fennel. Okay. And it's, it's commonly used, I mean, there's lots of umami in it. It's mm. used lots in South Indian cookery and, you know, even the, the Jain religion where they don't eat ginger and garlic. They use a lot of hing to sort of uh, add the flavour to the dishes. So why have you done that? So just lovely. Tempering's gone in there. It's almost that that enhancement at the end. You know, you've got. So do, cooking it separately keeps the that flavour seems more intense than if you just added it into the sauce. What do you mean? Well, because you're cooking it separately, then you're adding it. Does that just yeah, enhance yeah, well, that flavour? Well, it's just more? it's just the, the key. So you're bringing out the flavour, okay. intense flavour of that spice very quickly, adding it to the final gravy. And it just gives that little layer at the end, sort of picks the note up. Nice. So, um, so we've got the uh, delicious Carolyn coconut curry uh, with uh, fresh hass and sea bream. So what would you normally serve this with? Uh, commonly just plain rice or uh -huh. appam, you know, the fermented uh, rice pancakes. Yeah, that's really something, isn't it? So, so it's, it, I guess it's a plain foil because the dish is it's quite rich, isn't it? So full flavoured mm. uh, that they kind of complement each other. Okay. Dig in. Dig in. It's really hot. Oh, fine. Delicious. Mm. Mm. This is almost unloaded. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If, if there's any kids watching this, do you like roadblocks? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it tastes so creamy and rich. It almost feels a bit naughty, but it's really healthy, isn't it? With all the yeah, there's there's so many good things. Just coconut it. oil and coconut milk. It's there's a hing oh. and a turmeric, an uh, anti-inflammatory, you know, um, yes, mm. the ginger. But there's there's right. so many good things from that Ayurvedic template, I guess. Okay, good job, chef. Cheers. Lovely.